Look, man, I told you straight up. If you were going to continue to ruin my hats, you had to leave. Well, you kept doing it. So you got to go. I got no choice. Besides, there's someone new in town. So see ya. You want to be here. So what's happening everybody? Again, my name is James, and if this is your first time to the channel, please hit that subscribe button, because we're going to be getting into apparel videos all year long. So, today's video, we're going to be talking about the new 360 IQ Hotronics Hat Press, and the reasons why you may need it if you have an apparel business. So, here's a little background into why I purchased this heat press, okay? Now, I had one that I found for a fairly decent price. It was one from Pro World. It was the Pro World uh, Auto Open Hat Press. Now, I bought that press thinking, hey, this is going to be something that's a game changer. It's going to allow me to be able to start doing hats, and I'm going to be able to make some serious money now doing hats for my apparel business. Well, here's the situation with that one. Now, those of you that are watching this video, you might be watching this video for a reason. You might own a hat press like that. Whatever it may be, from Amazon to one of these major retail uh, you know, companies, you're having issues with being able to press your hats. And I'll tell you right now, one of the biggest common issues I've had with some of those hat presses, and this was based off the very first one that I've ever had, was you tend to get these heat iron creases right at the top or you tend to scorch the daylights out of the top of your hat or you're scorching your threading on the sides or you're getting these sides creased in because of the weird platen sizes that are on some of these presses. If this is the case, this press right here might be a game changer for your business. And the reason why, this little bad boy piece right here. In talking to Hotronics, and, and just get this straight right off the bat, I bought this machine right here because this machine made sense to me, okay? I'm the type of person that I love technology, and I love when technology evolves into something that truly is thought out, you know, because I come from the world of paintball, man. Just for example, okay, I was always into that one paintball marker that just was the game changer, that was changing the way of how the game of paintball was played, okay? And when you have a, a, a marker like that, it can take your game to the next level, you know, especially if you were at tournament level like I was, you know, I was playing Huntington Beach, you know, paintball tournaments and, you know, D3, we had fun doing it. This to me is a game changer. It's like that paintball marker that just takes your game to the next level, but also with this hat press, you're going to reduce a lot of the problems that you may currently be experiencing with some of these hat presses from, you know, some of these websites. Now I'm going to tell you right now, the reason why some of these hat presses are really not that good is because the lower platen. Okay, the lower platens are not really being created in a way that they're complementing the shapes of certain hats, okay? When you take these trucker hats, you know, for example, these are some of the hardest hats to press, are these structured hats, okay? I always deal with the five panel hats, you know, all the time, or the six panel trucker style hats. And, you know, a lot of the platens that you get on the, you know, uh, you know, these other cheap hat presses, they're just little curved, aluminum platens with a piece of foam on top and that's it. There's not a lot of innovation and design that goes into them. Basically all they are are copies of copies of copies that are most likely generated from the same companies overseas and they're shipped out and here you go people enjoy 
doing whatever you do, we're not responsible if you screw up your hats. Well, I love this machine here because at least Hotronics is trying to find a resolution to not wasting your money, not wasting your product, and really putting a lot of care and a lot of thought into this machine. That's why I had no hesitation after ruining hat after hat after hat with crease marks or where I got frustrated and I've seen a couple videos that are on YouTube of actual companies trying to press hats that absolutely just made me laugh when they're doing stuff like this on their machines trying to press their hat these type of hats for example when you gotta do stuff like this on a press you know because you need to be able to put your hat in there you know so to speak you gotta put your hat in there but that's not working okay we gotta do this now so let's do this now. Now put your hat on there and then let's see if you have a little indentation in your hat again. Well, that's not working. So let's crumble this ball up real quick. Put this ball on there and now let's see if the hat works. Here's my opinion. If you got to do all that, you're doing it wrong. So get rid of that crap, man. Who has time to do that? And if, you know, a company wants to sell you something like that, Quite honestly, they don't really care about their product. Innovation, people. Go after innovation. This design here is smart. A lower platen that heats up, an upper platen that heats up, really gets the job done when it comes to everything you're trying to throw at it. From leather patches to embroidery patches, vinyl, there's nothing this machine couldn't do. And when it comes to hats, tilt this to the side just that little curve right there I mean that's just innovative that's that's thought that was put into a machine that really is going to keep from destroying your hat you put your hat on there you know for example we'll go ahead and really quickly you know we'll put this hat on there just so you can kind of see you know these hats they're not easy to to press so right now I barely, you know, can push that down, but I haven't even locked this in yet. So now we're going to go ahead and you know, I'm showing you this in real time so you can see, you know, we're going to lock that down. I mean, look at that. There is no play really in that. And all you got to do really is kind of adjust the hat more, set it back. Boom. There's no play in that hat. Okay. Then if you really want to, all you got to do is take their little kit, you know, these little foam kits that come with it, and we'll explain everything that comes with this machine in a minute. You can put that down. You can close this lid, press that hat for a little bit, and it'll kind of seat the hat if it does have a slight little angle to it. But this hat is perfectly shaped with the curve to prevent this hat from, one, scorching, and to prevent those crease lines that are just detrimental to these style hats or any hat at that. So this machine right here, it's pricey. I will admit it, it is pricey and many people really see the $14.95 and they're like, holy moly, I, I can't afford that. Okay. Well, if you can't afford it, finance it, you know, but here's the bottom line. If you are an apparel company, you don't want to use cheap equipment to get the job done. This has been so far the only hat press that I've been able to really uh, use that is like an arsenal in, 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 your, in your weaponry, so to speak, of your apparel company. Because you take this thing out and it's going to get the job done. And that's what's important, guys. So the reason why we're talking about this press today is to talk about the things that it can do to make you money, okay? Now, of course, Stalls has video after video after video of things that they're able to do with this machine that are very impressive. And, you know, the fact that, that they're, you know, really trying to get this machine out there so that people know what it can do is absolutely awesome. Uh, it, it's one of the reasons why, you know, I chose to get one. Um, actually, one of the reasons I did choose to get one, which uh, if you ever watched uh, Lee Stewart's video, Shout out to Lee Stewart. Hopefully you give a shout, shout out back and subscribe. Was his video. Um, 
he popped out two videos on actually using this machine, the features, the you know production of it, and I was blown away by its capabilities and what it can do. I, I noticed his video before I actually noticed Stahl's video uh, of what they were doing, and then once I watched their videos, I was even more so impressed by what this machine could do. So some of the features is, of course, you have the digital display. Um, you know, again, this is a 360 IQ Fusion hat press, so it has the Fusion display digitally. Uh, this thing can connect to Wi-Fi, so it's a smart machine, so it connects to Wi-Fi. It has a cloud system that you can sign up for online. And what's really impressive about this cloud system, guys, is it allows, um, it allows the website to be able to monitor what your machine is doing production-wise. It can monitor uh, the type of hats you're doing, um, maybe the type of emblems you're doing. It even can monitor different users. You can set up different users with different passwords on this machine. So if you have multiple employees down the line, uh, you know, if, if John Doe and Hank Henry over here is, you know, doing different things at different times, you can monitor without even having to be at the shop and seeing just what they did, you know, in, in a day's work. So it does monitor that aspect of your business, which I think is pretty cool. It does allow for firmware updates. So when there is an update, it'll actually show a little question mark and you can check and go ahead and update the firmware. You can take this pin right here. and we're, We don't have it turned on. Uh, I'm actually going to make some hats and beanies on this machine in another video coming because I want to show uh, how to do some things that stall's not showing you. So we're going to do some Brick 600. We're going to do some Caesar HTV. I mean, these are things that are, that are kind of common out there. Not everybody uses stalls, exclusive stuff. I want to kind of talk about the things that are not stalls related that most people use commonly, uh, either locally or, you know, because Caesar is a big brand. So we're going to be highlighting some Caesar stuff and whatnot. So uh, let's get back to the topic of the um, digital display here. But that'll be coming, so stay tuned, subscribe, that way you won't miss that video when it does pop out. Um, but this thing right here too, it's capable of, you know, either being touch screen with your finger, or you just use the pin to be able to, you know, punch in different uh, functions of it. So it has built-in presets, and I don't know if out the box I had one preset, which was a flex style. Um, Based on the manual, it's stating it's supposed to have a long list of presets. Well, I only had one. So I don't know if that's an issue with stalls. I've tried to contact them. Uh, I haven't received an answer back yet, but it's just a matter of time before I do and find out if that's uh, standard for their machine to show something on the manual that's different from what you're receiving on the machine itself. But it is capable of being able to program the features yourself your temperatures, your pressure, the, the material you're using. So if you are using something like, for example, Brick 600, you can program Brick 600 uh, based on what you need from your testing and whatnot to see what works. You know, once you finally see what, what's working for you, you can dial that preset in. That way it's ready to go. It does have uh, auto on off timer features. So you can set this thing to turn on whenever you want it to. It's got standby mode which turns the heating elements off when they're not in use, which is actually a wonderful feature. One of the things that I really, 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 really loved about this thing was, again, turning this thing sideways, this right here. I mean, this right here is absolutely amazing because if, you, if you're using those other uh, press, presses, you know, the cheaper presses that, you know, are in the 500 to 600 range or below, um, you know, this is about how much space you have to put a hat in there. <laughs> they don't really give you a whole lot of space and most of the time, you know, in some cases it's even like that, you know, to where you got to put the hat in there and then you got to try to work it down and in the process hope you don't sizzle the hell out of your, you know, your knuckles and, you know, I think we uh, referred to it last time as knuckle sushi. Again, you know, that's not a very pleasant thing to invest in is burning your knuckles and you know, I, I wouldn't appreciate that, you know, uh, spending that kind of money on a machine. Um, I, I don't I don't really pay for lazy. Let's put it that way. I don't pay for lazy unless, you know, I'm absolutely just getting started. If I'm in the business and I'm making money, then I'm going to try to invest in equipment and upgrade my equipment. My goal would be maybe buying budget equipment in the beginning 
in order to utilize that equipment to get me to equipment like this, okay? That should be the goal of anybody who is trying to get in the industry, you know, use your equipment to upgrade to better equipment. You know, don't use that same equipment over time. You know, start ramping up your quality, ramp up your, your quality, start ramping up your quality and your uh, quantity and your perfection. You know, perfect your, your, your trade, so to speak. So again, with this machine, you got a lot of different cool functions. You know, you've got your, your upper heat readout, your lower heat readout on the digital display. You've got a pressure readout that tells you what pressure you're at. I mean, and that's, you know, some of the cool things that you can just expect from the Fusion IQ. You know, you're able to register this machine. Uh, it does come with pretty darn good warranty. Uh, we'll talk about that warranty probably in a later, in my next video, we'll go ahead and talk about what that warranty is and stuff. So some of the things that this thing comes with right out the box, of course, you got your machine that comes in at about 50 pounds, which is kind of nice. You know, you've got, uh, you know, like I said, all this clearance right here. So you really have room to work with items right, right here. You can work from the back, from the front. You can put shirts in here with no problem. Beanies, hats, whatever you got. You know, if you're trying to do shirt tags, this thing will do shirt tags. If you're trying to do face masks, no problem with face masks. You know, you can put these things in there and they just lay beautifully. So it's a great production piece. Um, and then of course you've got the auto open feature and the magnet system, you know, on this press. Uh, I wanna say the total height of this machine, let's see, I wanna say it's around 31, 31 inches or just under. So about 29 inches is the height of this machine when it's wide open and the legs front to back, you're looking at about 18 inches. Uh, some of the things that it comes with obviously are the foam pads. These are your foam heat pads. That is when you're actually pressing a hat. You'll go ahead and lay these pads on top of your design, you know, like so. I'll go ahead and turn this this way. That way you prevent the hat from getting damaged, scorched, you know, and those nasty crease lines uh, that you absolutely hate. And that was the thing, man. I was getting sick and tired of it happening because when you're, you know, if you're buying wholesale, you're probably spending, you know, anywhere from three to four dollars a hat. You know, and in some cases, if you're buying higher in hats, you know, you could be paying five or six dollars a hat. Uh, beanies, you could be spending as much as, you know, a uh, dollar some a beanie, as high as, you know, seven, eight dollars a beanie. But the bottom line is, I don't want to ruin products using something that's designed for them. If I'm buying a hat press, I expect that that hat press is going to get the job done. And if it's not, then, you know, I want my money back or I'm gonna move on to a better product. So I love the fact that this machine so far has not ruined any apparel that we've thrown at it and stuff. So uh, some cool features that really strike me about this machine was its capability of being able to do leather patches. Because I mean, you take a gorgeous black hat and you throw a really cool leather patch on there. I mean, that's just hot. That's a hot seller all day long. Or you even take a beanie, so to speak, and you put a leather patch on a beanie, that again is another hot seller all day long, period. Embroidery, and that's a cool thing. They give you four little samples of things you can put on a hat just so you can see the quality of the product. So you get the really flat embroidered, uh, I guess this is like their twill style patch. You get the flex style, patch, which this one's really cool. I really like the flex style patch. And you get the 3D embroider patch. You know, the really thick three-dimensional embroidery patch. Now all these are heat press patches, which is absolutely awesome. And the cool thing is, when you look at what the price of these patches are on Stahl's website, they're actually not that bad. You know, of course, when you're ordering small quantities, the, yeah, they'll be expensive when you're ordering small quantities. That's just how it is with any company. Uh, but when you start jumping into like, you know, 50 patch range, 100 patch range, you know, you really get a killer deal for the patches, you know, and of course their setup fee is, I think it's a little pricey at 52, but I guess it just depends on, you know, hey, how intricate is your logo? 
They do run special sometimes where it's 50% off the setup fees, but I guess once it's set up, you know, hopefully they're not charging you that again, you know, if it's the same design, which would be pretty cool. So you do get these four little sample, you know, patches, you know, that you can try and they come in this little envelope right here. Uh, you will get a little get started, uh, you know, pamphlet that kind of, you know, tells you, hey, congratulations, you just bought this and here's what you can do with it. They give you this little testing report here that kind of tells you, hey, we tested the machine, checklist, everything's working, you know, and then it's got, you know, whoever worked on it, they sign it, whatever. And then, of course, you get your manual, which we don't have the manual here, but you get this other little pamphlet here that, you know, it talks about their different uh, applications that they have, you know, from uh, CAD Color Express Print to Flex Style, Sim Stitch, Silicone Dye Block, and the Permatool. Uh, so you get all that information there. You get the three pads for the different types of emblems that you can do from really thin to really thick. And then of course, you know, it tells you here in this little paper here, it gives you uh, which pad to use based on whatever emblem you're using. So you get a lot of things with the press that kind of, you know, give you some really great information. You do get that cool cloud service with the machine, you know, which I thought was pretty neat to be able to keep track of your production. And, you know, you're able to have a good time finally. You're, you know, and again, uh, the other machines, you know, they were just frustrating me. You know, when I got stuff to do, the last thing I need to do is get frustrated by equipment, okay? Because it's not designed in a way that it's making me money. If anything, it's making me lose money and it's making me lose my mind, you know? And I, I don't have time to to lose my mind. I lose my mind. I go ape wall. So, you know, <laughs> buy something that's going to reduce that. So basically that's what this video was for to kind of introduce you to this machine. There's really not a whole lot that really you need to know about this machine. All you need to know is this machine's going to get the job done, period. And that it has more than enough digitally to be able to make you happy and simplify your workload. Okay. And when you got a company, isn't that what's important? You know, being able to simplify your workload and know that when you turn something on, it's gonna get the job done and it's gonna get the job done right. So hey guys, if you think that this machine can make you some serious money, don't even hesitate. Just go out and get it. That's what I did and I'm glad I did it. So hey, if you like this video, hit that like man, hit that subscribe. Please support the channel. Keep me going, keep me rocking, I love doing this. And until the next video, my name is James, this is Essential Apparel, and I'm out.